The Zcam E2 series of cameras have a feature called split duration. What this means is it will automatically split the file up into one minute, five minute, 10 minute segments, however you set that setting in the menu. So let me show you where that's at. So you go into menu, into recording, and down here at split duration, you can select how long it will record until it splits that file up. Basically, it'll close the file and immediately start another file, and it's a seamless recording, except for the audio. So that's what this video is about. So I made a recording of just me talking to camera, and I set the Zcam to one minute split duration. So as we can see here, I have three files for this first take, and then three files for the second take. The difference is the first three are ProRes, the second three are H.265. So let's put these on the timeline and see what they look like. So drag the ProRes ones down here, like this. The video you'll see is seamless. It plays right through this transition here without any problem. But if I zoom in here on the audio, you'll see there's a gap. There's a distinct gap where there's no sound. And you'll definitely hear this in your sound. And it's gonna ruin your take if you left it like this. So what you need to do is use the Zcam video concatenator software and it's going to remove that gap and make a continuous file out of your clips. Let me show you where you can download that software. So go to your favorite browser and type in z-cam.com. This is Zcam's website. And you'll see up here in the, in the bar, we have products, we don't want that, we have software. Scroll past these ones, go right into the software update. And then down just a little bit here, we'll see the Zcam video concatenator software. And this version 1.4 was updated just uh, around November 27th. You'll definitely wanna download this one. I found a, a bug in the previous version, so they made an update. So download that, it's coming straight off their Google Drive. And I'll let that download. It's not very big, so it shouldn't take too long to download. So let's open that up, and all you have to do is drag this into your Applications folder uh, on Windows. It's relatively similar. The app should work the same. So I've opened the video concatenator software, and I'm just gonna hit this Browse button over here to browse to my directory. So I recorded some scenes here, two different sets here, one, two, three, one, two, three, and I'm just gonna hit Open on this folder, and right away we'll see that it's already organized them into groups. So we can see one, three, five, seven. These are all one, three, five, seven, one, two, and three. And then one, six, three, six, one, six, three, six, one, two, three. And they're already selected. So all I need to do is select an output location, which I've, I've got this folder here. I'm gonna open that one. And then I'll just hit the start button and it's gonna run. And we'll see how long it takes. If I look at these files, they are you know, almost four gigabytes, four gigabytes, 1.72. These are smaller. Well, so what I did was these are ProRes and these are H.265. You can see the difference in file size between ProRes and H.265. So basically, the time it takes for this to finish should be the time it takes roughly to transfer these files or copy these files into this directory. Now it's on the same hard drive, so it's reading and writing to the same drive that can actually slow it down but uh, we'll just see how long it takes. I'll come back when it's finished. It only took about five or six minutes for this to uh, finish doing the concatenating, which isn't too bad. Um, that would seem to indicate that it's not re-encoding, it's just somehow butting these files up against each other, uh, filling in those gaps in the audio, and making a single video file out of that. Let's look at the results here. If I jump in here, we have single individual files for each um, set, each of these two sets. And you can see the file sizes are basically, if you were to add up uh, the individual files, you would get this as the total. So let me go back here. So 3.83, 3.78, 1.72, that's roughly 9.26 gigabytes. And same for the H.265. So let's go back into DaVinci Resolve and see how they look, and we'll compare them to the original files. Here are the original three files like we had previously, and I'll come over here to my concatenated folder. Here's the concatenated version, and if I stack that on top of this, and I'll zoom in right on this transition, and we'll see right away that the audio gap is now gone. It's been fixed. You'll notice something, though. See how this audio looks to be out of time? Well, that's an interesting thing to note. It's actually not out of time. I can prove it by pulling in the audio recording that I made. This is a separate audio recording I made in Pro Tools. Let me zoom in out here so I can get this lined up. It's be a manual lineup job here. If you've never done this before, this is one way of doing it. I don't have any time code or anything, so let me just bump this around. That's close enough. And I'll come back to my transition, and we can see that my audio that I recorded separately, 
matches the audio from the Zcam concatenator file. Let me find another portion over here. You can see how these line up. So the audio that was in the original clips is actually off. And I think this is how they're able to get this audio to line back up because it's here instead of being here. They're basically shifting that audio back to where it's supposed to be healing those gaps uh, is one way to look at it. Let me go all the way to the end and we'll see that the sync is maintained right here. And that gap difference is about the same. So that's how they are able to fix the audio. The audio is there, they just need to shift it around. So now with my healed clip, um, I can edit this down and it's like I never had a split file in the first place. Now one thing you might ask is, why would I want to use this split duration? It seems like there's more effort in post to get this all back into one file. There's time involved to concatenate these files. This is only not even three minutes long. This, this is one minute, two minutes, and then you know maybe 13 seconds or whatever. And it took five or six minutes just to make this one file. So if you had something that was a half hour, a couple clips that are half hour long, it could take quite a bit of time to make those into one file. And you're making duplicate files basically because you're making another file to have a single corrected file. So why would you want to use this? Well, maybe you're like this person who let the battery run out and the file didn't close properly and now he can't read the file. You might be able to recover it. I think Zcam can help you out with that but uh, you don't want to take that risk. So by making split duration files, you're saving files every minute, five minutes, however long you set that, and those are safe, those are preserved. So if you do happen to do something silly like this and run out of power, then uh, you'll be able to recover those files easier. That's all I have for you this time. Please uh, hit that like button, subscribe, hit that little notification bell, do all those things, and I'll see you in my next video.